Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. And the first thing I want to show you is to make the tablet a bit faster because if you open an app, there's always a little animation. Huh? It zooms out and it zooms in. Let me show you here. It zooms out, if you close it, it zooms in. Let me show you a bit more about So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down now on the left side to the point accessibility. Here it is. And on the right side, you need now the point visibility enhancements. If you scroll down a bit here, you will find the point uh, remove animations. Here it is, remove animations. If you enable this feature, that means that now the app is immediately there and immediately again. Immediately there, immediately again. Let me turn it off again to uh, show you um, how it looks like if the animations are there, because then you feel how slower it is now. Né? Can you see that? It feels much slower right now. So this is why I recommend you to remove it and will save also system resources. No? Immediately there, immediately gone. The next feature I want to show you is for the battery or better for the lifespan of the battery because uh, the charging is pretty, pretty important because uh, the best what you can do for the battery lifespan is uh, to have it always here within 20% and 85%. If it's uh, going under, sometimes it's not that bad, but it should be less often. Huh? And uh, for the charging, that it's uh, that you don't have to run always uh, and check, uh, you can uh, limit it automatically. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here, tap you on the same for the settings. Then you need to go down on the left side to battery and device care. Tap then here on battery. Go down a bit. Tap down on more battery settings and select now this one, protect battery. Huh? That's to extend the lifespan of your battery, limit the maximum charge to 85%. That means even if you charge or if you leave your tablet on charge, it never goes over 85%. So this is to have much more fun for long term with your tablet. Huh? So never go under 20% under or as less often under 20% and fix it that you have it not more than 85% with that tool. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for the apps uh, because uh, you can clone apps here with this tablet. So that means that you can have more than one Facebook app here. That's uh, pretty nice uh, and sometimes because if you have more than one Facebook account, maybe just an example, then uh, you don't have to switch your accounts always within one app. No, you can use a second app for. Uh, let me show you how. So first of all, to download the app, of course. Huh? So, and what you should do then is just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then go down here to the point, advanced features, here it is. And then you will find here the last point, dual messenger. So as the name says already, it's only available for messaging, for messaging services uh, like WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, and Messenger, and so on. Um, so these are the available apps now, which one I'm allowed to clone here on this tablet. So let me turn on the first one here. And if you do it for the very first time, then you need to confirm something. I've done it already. And after just go here on install. And the tablet will install now this second WhatsApp app. Huh? Okay. Now we have a second copy. Huh? And let's do now here the same thing with Snapchat. Install Facebook, install Messenger, install. Okay, let's do one. Huh? Okay, but how you can recognize always the second apps? Uh, let me show you how you can. Uh, now, this is my main WhatsApp account here. Let me show it here. So, this is my main WhatsApp account, my main Facebook account, and so on. And this is now my second WhatsApp account, now my second Facebook account, uh, or the first Snapchat account here. And the second one. And as you can see here very well, um, you can recognize the second app always here with this orange corner, no? with the two circles. Um, so this is a pretty nice feature. It doesn't work, by the way, for Instagram and TikTok, meanwhile, but may one day. Who knows? Huh? But actually, it's also a good tool with WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, and so on. The next feature I want to show you is for the screen size, because we have a large screen here, and why not using it? No? By increasing the text size, something very simple, but very nice for the eyes. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then go on the left side here to the point display, and then on the right side, scroll a bit down, and then you have the two points here, font size and style and screen zoom. Uh, 
So what I would recommend to you to increase it here at maximum to the middle, because if you increase it too much, let me show you what happens then, um, then the, yeah, the previous here of the notifications will be too large and you can't really read well the notifications anymore. Um, so this is why I recommend to you to have it at maximum, like in my case here, in the middle. I've increased it here already for you that uh, you can follow the video better and so on. And you should do the same because your eyes will say thank you for that. Let me show you a bit more about, let's go one step back here to the uh, display settings again. We have also now the point screen zoom here. And the screen zoom, we can also increase the, yeah, the icons. Huh? It is also good and so on. So look for the best option for you. Um, you should use really the display size. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for the screen size as well, but more for the keyboard because you have several options. So let me go here. And um, yeah, if I'm having the keyboard like this, I, yeah, it's maybe too large and so on. So to reach every letter good. And sometimes my thumbs are fighting. So this is the reason why we have this one here. And we can easily write now with two hands if you're holding a tablet like this. Also pretty nice is the one here in the middle because then you have a, have a floating window and you can put it to a good position that you can write with one hand. So pretty, pretty nice. Huh? And yeah, let me show you how you can uh, uh, have these features here again. So uh, with this one here, you have the floating one. No? And with this one here, you have um, yeah, the regular keyboard or the little space here if you want to use it with two hands here at the same time. So check your favorite one and yeah, pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you is for this taskbar here. Uh, um, the taskbar is pretty nice. It's always visible here. What, what makes it very interesting is um, even if you are an app, uh, you still have always the taskbar here in the middle. So that means you have always quick access here to this taskbar. And uh, let me show you something. Um, you should now arrange your taskbar like this, that you have your favorite apps there, uh, like maybe WhatsApp. Uh, Hold it here, swipe it in the taskbar to a position which one is comfortable for you. And that means whenever uh, you're on an app and so on, you have also quick access just to your WhatsApp account and so on and so on. So pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so check on your taskbar. The next feature I want to show you is to save energy. Uh, that's pretty, pretty nice because it's important for the environment and so on and also for yeah, saving money. Um, let me show you um, some features of it. Well, basically, you will find it if you scroll down, you have obviously this symbol and if you tap on it, you save energy. No? The display brightness, uh, the, the display brightness uh, decreases a bit by 10%. The CPU speed is a bit more limited. Um, yeah, and some background activities are turned off. But you can squeeze out a bit more from this power saving mode. Let me show you how. So just swipe down here a second time. Well, by the way, you have much more options then. And uh, now let's tap you on the written word, power saving. Well, then just go on details. So here you can see a bit what happens. No? So um, yeah, the CPU speed is limited. No? The screen brightness is decreased by 10%. And the refreshing rate is also reduced by 60% here. and the refreshing rate is also the, also the refreshing rate is reduced to 60 hertz and so on. What is for the basic stuff absolutely okay, yeah. And yeah, uh, let me show you a bit more now. Um, if you turned off now, you can enable this one here: limit apps and home screen. So and with this feature, you squeeze out the maximum. I know the name doesn't sound like this, but this feature squeeze out the maximum here from your power saving. If I turn on now this power saving here, we go in the special mode. No? Um, here, by the way, you can see now we have two days and 14 hours remaining. No? Uh, that's more than the double as we had before. No? So all the background activities are turned off. We have um, yeah, a, 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 a screen timeout of 15 seconds and so on and uh, the screen brightness is reduced to a minimum. Okay, uh, and also the apps are limited, no? but you can add here some apps, maybe, I don't know, like uh, if you say, okay, you want to have Instagram and so on, you can set it up, you can even play games here in that mode and so on, but it's a nice power saving mode. And hey, may this mode 
saves your life one day because if you don't don't have a chance to charge your tablet uh, you can remain double of the time at minimum than before so you should set this feature up and yeah it's a pretty nice one let's go here also if you have the chance uh, to charge your tablet again you can leave it here uh, just tap on the three points go on turn off power saving and you are back in the regular mode and by the way if you are in this special mode nothing is deleted in background and so on so you can still work basically and yeah this is a pretty pretty nice feature okay the next point i want to show you is again for your eyes we had that point already with the screen size and so on but the next feature is uh, and the next feature I want to show you is uh, one more time for the eyes because uh, we are using our tablet and smartphones and so on too often. And that is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress by enabling a blue light filter. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here, scroll down the second time as we have learned and then we have much more icons. And by the way, we have a second page. And here you will find this sun icon. Just tap on it and if you enable this feature, you will see that your screen will turn into a yellow touched color. Uh, um, this is a blue light filter and the blue light filter is reducing the eye strain. Let me show you a bit more about it. Tap now here on the written word, eye comfort shield, because now you can change the color temperature. And as more warm the color temperature is, as better it is for your eyes. You should use that feature, um, yeah, because your eyes don't recover so well. Uh, so do that. Okay, and in case if you don't want to have it on the day, uh, you should have it at latest in the evening hours because it supports your sleep as well. Um, in case, uh, if you don't want to have it on the day, just go here on details, go on set scheduled from sunset to sunrise, and then uh, you don't have to turn it on and off by your own. It goes automatically. If the sun sets, the blue light filter will turn on, and if the sun rises, the blue light filter will turn off. But I repeat myself, I recommend to you to have it always turned on. A feature for evening hours is a dark mode. Well, let me show you a bit more about because um, your eyes will have stress as well if everything is dark around you and you have the bright screen. Well, for that, you can enable a dark theme. Well, just scroll down here, scroll down the second time, scroll to the second page, and now we will need the moon sample. If you turn it on, you will see that many things turn dark now, turn into dark, dark mode. Huh? And um, this feature has the disadvantage that it's not that good on the day. So here I would re really recommend to you to use it in general, um, yeah, just in the evening and in the night. Okay, for that, just tap on the written words, dark mode, go on details. Turn on as chat shoot. And now, yeah, choose the first point, which one is already enabled here. Sunset to sunrise. Um, then whenever the sun sets, no, the dark mode will turn on. And if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a something up. That would be very helpful for more videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support. And yeah, maybe at the next time. <laughs> Ciao.